Hello, my friends. Today, I'm going to talk about the seven YouTube channels every beginner software developer or programmer should follow. I have subscribed to most of these channels and I really love the content, the tutorials and the advice that they provide. So that's why I'm bringing them to you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And let's get this going. My first YouTube channel for you to follow is going to be Socratica. Socratica is a YouTube channel that is centered around tutorials for different subjects, but for this video, I'm only going to um, concentrate on the Python tutorial. They have made Python so simple. They are my I first encounter Python on Socratica, and the way the tutorials are delivered are very awesome. I haven't had any kind of tutorial in this format before so i highly recommend you you check out socratica they have um about 33 videos on python programming uh there's uh the initial programming uh hello world tutorial how you can print your first program on python python strings um using python for um, different things they take you through the variables and all the very basics of programming so if you're interested in in learning Python um, you would check out the Socratica channel and uh, you would love it you will love it I promise you you'll love it so that's my number one YouTube channel to follow my number two YouTube channel to follow as a new or a beginner software developer is uh, Google developers, they have different tutorials for different subjects. But for me, and in this video, I'm only going to concentrate on machine learning because I have been learning and taking courses on machine learning recently. I have a course I, I bought on Udemy for machine learning A to Z. It was so abstract. Yes, I followed the tutorial, but coming to this channel, Josh, Gordon made it sound so easy. He broke down very um, abstract details and made it easy for me to um, learn. And yeah, you you should be able to check it out if you have an interest in machine learning. They have about 10 videos here, uh, which are very well made, um, which is very good. Yeah, that's my number two. If you're interested in machine learning, do check out Google Developers Machine Learning Recipe. Number three channel to follow is the coding train. The coding train has a lot of tutorials for different um, projects. Um, he also has coding challenges, uh, which he uploads quite often. Look at he uploads about five videos or four videos a week. Yeah, so if you're interested in uh, learning JavaScript, Python, and he also ventures into machine learning, especially the neural network part. So do check out um, the coding train if uh, you're interested in JavaScript. And there's so many things you could learn from him. It's not just about programming. You could also learn, get tips about passing your uh, coding interviews or whiteboard um, interviews. Yeah, that's number three. Number four channel to follow is Traversy Media. Traversy Media has quite a high number of following. Yes, that will tell you that they know what they're doing and they've been around for a while. They have tons of tutorials on JavaScript, basically around um, web development. They also have uh, tutorials on Python data visualization with Bokeh. Yeah, this is a great tutorial. I love using Python for data visualization. So they also have tutorials on um, JavaScript, Node.js, um, WordPress REST API, and also they feature um, people that will give you advice on different kinds of um, skills that you need as a developer. So do check them out and you'd love you did. You'll be happy you did. The number five channel to check out is LearnCode.academy. LearnCode has, it's 
mostly about web development, the rudiments and the bits and pieces of web development. They've also taken web development with JavaScript. I'm sorry, web machine learning with JavaScript. Wow, that's awesome. I haven't tried machine learning with JavaScript. I've only done machine learning with Python and um, just basically TensorFlow. So if you're very good in JavaScript and you want to venture into machine learning, do check out this channel and um, see what they're doing with JavaScript and machine learning. So the channel name is learncode.academy. Let's move forward. The next channel to check, and that's my number six, is Acad Mind. I hope it's, it's pronounced properly. Arcade Mind, yeah. <laughs> so Arcade Mind, um, they also provide different kinds of tutorials, and when they show their tutorials, the instructor, I think that's actually um, one of the good things about this channel. They make it very simple and uh, they feature different kinds of of um, programs for new developers. And yeah, so you get your hands around different kinds of programs you can do with the, the programming language that you know, especially the Node.js um, and React. And the one good thing, and they are always very proud of showing their face when they make their videos, is one of their trademarks. Okay, that's about uh, Arcade Mind. The next YouTube channel to follow is Udemy Tech. Udemy Tech is a, a place where you can maybe wet your feet if you're planning to take any course on Udemy. Because I started here, then after going through some of the videos, which which uh, most of the videos here are made by the tutorials on Udemy. Um, I was able to choose the course that I wanted, especially this one here. This is a Python tutorial by Adit. I bought a course by Adit where he thought um, it, he just takes you from the very first step of Python to advanced level. You could make different programs like web development, using Python for data visualization, creating graphical user interfaces. There are so many things you could learn from Adit's course. Then you can just um, check his tutorial here and see if it works for you. Then if you um, are interested in web development, here is a course, uh, like a JavaScript crash course for front-end development, back-end development tutorials. And my very favorite here is the mobile app development by Angela. Angela is a great teacher. I bought her course when I wanted to learn uh, iOS development. The interesting thing is that Angela was a doctor and she left that field and ventured into programming. So um, her course is very good. So you could just check out most of the of the tutorials here then if it, it might still just be enough for you without even buying a course and you get as much value as needed so yeah that's the last one my number seven so if you love this video and uh, it's in, it has brought value to you please hit that subscribe button on my channel and subscribe so that and also hit the notification bell so that you know when I upload new videos. Thank you for watching.